Brendan? <laughs> that was like a hi, not a. Oh, I, was gonna, I, I got a question. She walked it all worked out. Hey, Jamari, how's it going? How you doing? Thanks. Uh, can you talk about your recruiting process? Why you ended up picking Florida State? What stood out about this program to you? I mean, my recruiting process went well with Florida State. I mean, I just went on. Uh, I went on all my OVs for my visits and everything that I wanted to go on and all my visits, my unofficial visits, but I knew I was coming to Florida State and I knew I was going to be here. We'll go second row on the left for Essen. I think, um, you know, impressive um, freshman group that's coming in with you for your defensive back. How do you guys, um, you know, um, gel together so far and what's that relationship like between you guys? I mean, me, Kai Bates, CL3, I mean, we hang out sometimes. We go out sometimes, vibe out, work out together. Uh, I hang out a couple of the older guys like Earl and Malik Benson and all the other guys and everything. Okay, we'll come back to the front for Chris. How do you think your track background helps you on the football field? I mean, it helps me a lot. I mean, everybody, if I'm running slow, they'll know, like, that ain't me running. Coach Storm will let me know, like, track, what are you doing? Like, that's not your, your potential. Like, get it together, run. Let's run and everything. I mean, that brings a lot to my name and my recruitment and everything to college. All right, next question will be from James Hill on the Zoom. Hey, Jamari, it's James Hill down in Sarasota at HBC7. Just talk a little bit about being a Seminole, what it's like so far, and that great tradition. I mean, it's a great tradition. I mean, since I've been here, I've been treated well. I mean, it's not like nothing like just throwing in your face like you get here and then things changes. I mean, the coaches let you know what it is before you even get here, like what's going to happen. If not, I mean, football is not for everybody, but if you really want it, you'll be here. Right, next will be Ira, second row on your right. How long have people been calling you back to I mean, shoot, I got that name. Actually, I, I used to be slow for <laughs> Before my, I got that name, I was slow, and then I actually earned it when I was five years old. Uh, my Optimus <laughs> coach, my Optimus football coach, went uh, back back in my city in Miami. Um, he's actually a, a Miami Dade County police officer, uh, Officer Moise. Um, I mean, back then when I was slow and he was training me, I didn't go to no AAU out of town. He told me just come back next year and work, and then that next year. For like the two next years, ever since I was like five, six years old, that's just been my name from there. We'll go to Aslan in the back right. Is there like a turning point for you as a player in, in, in building this kind of confidence that you have right now? I mean, uh, yeah. I mean, I used to be nervous for certain things, like things like this, like interviews. I used to be nervous, but I mean, you just keep building up as you take the interviews and everything and just succeed in them. Come back to Ira. I know he won't be your position coach, but what, what role did Coach Shannon have in your, your recruitment and, and how long have you known him? Oh, Coach Shannon played a big role in my recruitment because, I mean, he's from the crib. I mean, you know, like, he's just not a regular guy that's going to let you know, like, oh, come to Florida State, he's going to tell you what it is and everything and let you know, and he's going to make sure you get doing what you're doing and get to work. We'll go back to Brendan, front left. What's your relationship like with Coach Sertan? And I guess maybe like during the recruiting process and yeah. now actually getting to work with him hands on here. I guess how's that changed or what's that been like? I mean, me and Sertan have a good relationship. When I was in recruitment, he texted me, let me know I'm straight. Uh, he gonna let you know. I mean, he don't need to text you every day to tell you that you, that if you're straight or not. He just he gonna let you. He gonna text you and let, ask you if you're good during the days uh, as they pass. In my recruitment, that's what he did with me. But. Um, our relationship got better as I got here. I mean, he let make sure I'm good, let me know what's going on and everything, and make sure I'm in meetings and everything, doing what I gotta do. Come back to SM, second row. What's been adjust? I mean, it's obviously early, but what's been adjusted for you coming to the college level and just learning how to, the speed of the game, just different things? What's been the difference for you so far? I mean, there's a lot of difference. Uh, to really, some of the things you learn, some of the things you gonna come new, but uh, you just got to really adapt to the, what's going on and everything and just adapt fast and try to get with the program and everything because if not, you're going to be slow pacing. Right, next question will be Kurt, front row to your right. 
Have the, uh, the coaches uh, talked to you, I guess, about where, where you're going to start positionally in the spring? And I guess besides the speed, you talked about that. I guess where you, what are the strengths of your game as a DB? I mean, shoot, my coaches haven't told me. I'll, I'll actually be playing corner, but my coaches actually told, uh, haven't told me, like, what uh, what I'll really be playing, but really corner. Um, shoot, the speed, the speed is just, it comes natural. I'm from Miami, but um, it comes natural. Go back to Aslan in the back. You know, some coaching staff will say whatever to get a kid to commit, come on campus. And you mentioned that you know what they told you is what they've done since you've been here, like that level of consistency. I guess how comforting is that? And how did you know in the recruiting process that what these coaches told you they were going to be able to live up to it once you did? Get I'm to sorry. It? Can you say that again? You know, it seems like some coaches will just tell a player, a recruit, like whatever, just so they'll be able to get them to commit yeah. to your school. But you were mentioning that this staff is. They haven't changed anything. Yeah. They talk to you as a high school player the same way they're treating you right mm -hmm. now. How, how did you know that they were going to be that authentic and that real with you the whole time? I mean, I knew that as soon as I stepped in uh, Coach Mike Novell's office. I mean, he let, he was letting me know that he's not the dude that just the, that just going to want you. If you if you're playing for Florida State, Coach Mike Novell wants you to play for the team and wants you to win and get to work and get to grind and then help you get to the next level. You go to Jordan, third girl on your left. Jamar, you're obviously a confident guy, but how do you deal with the expectations and the pressure of coming in as a highly talented freshman, but also playing DB at Florida State? I mean, shoot, I'm back to square one, really. I mean, it probably looks like I'm confident in everything and as I talk, but I'm back to square one, so I just gotta get to work to get to the next level and do what I gotta do and show Coach Mike Novell and there, all the coaches staff, all the coaches on the coaches staff what I got to do and show them how to work and to get on the field. Anything else? All right, thanks, Jamar.